running hard intervals is no picnic. No matter what you do, it can feel like you're not getting enough air as you stand there trying to recover as quick as possible for the next interval. And therefore, runners also have a strategy to maximize oxygenation of the body and to get the heart rate down as fast as possible between the intervals. A very common strategy and advice to do this is to stand up and put your hands onto your head and breathe. <sighs> The idea here is to open up the airways and make room for air going into the lungs. However, it is very common for runners to position themselves like this, standing and having their hands on their knees, which the put your hands on your head advocates says makes it more difficult to take in oxygen for optimal recovery between the intervals. The question is therefore, which is the best way to recover between the intervals? Is it to do as on the picture on the right, or to the left? And fortunately we don't have to guess. There is a study that investigated exactly this. The researchers asked the subjects to run on a treadmill to, and to do four 4 minute intervals at 90 to 95% of maximum heart rates with a 3 minute rest between the intervals. They did this on two separate occasions, one time when they rested standing with their hands on their heads and the other time when they had their hands on their knees. The researchers then measured how quickly the heart rate dropped uh, during the rest and how much oxygen they got it, it into the working muscles. It turned out that one way was better than the other. That way lowered the pulse significantly faster and oxygenated the body better. And the best way is... But first a short break for commercials. If you like this video, I hope you can click the like button and also maybe the subscribe button. The more subscribers I get, the more videos I can make. And don't forget to check out my online course. You find more information about that in the description below. And now back to the question. What is best for recovery? Standing with the hands on your knees or standing with hands on your head? The best way is to stand like this with hands on your knees. With their hands on their heads, their heart rate dropped an average of 31 beats during the first minute of rest. With the hands on their knees, their heart rate dropped an average of 53 beats. They also became better at taking in air and oxygenating their muscles. In the study, the researchers wrote, and I quote, These data suggest that the hand on knee stands may be more beneficial than the advocated hand-on-head stance as a form of immediate recovery after high-intensive interval training. If you just wanted to know which way was the best between these two ways, you can stop watching right now. But since I know that many people who watch my videos do their best to misunderstand the simple conclusions based on measurable facts. I thought I'd make an addition for those of you who have concerns about these results. And I do it through what happened when I told about these results of this study to a person who is both a really good runner and who is also a running coach. And he said, well, you are wrong. My coach told me that it's much better to walk around than standing still. So I think that's much better than standing with your hands on your knees, which you say is the best. And that is a very good objection. But I have three objections to that person's objection. Let's start with, you are wrong, Frederick. I'm not wrong. I don't think that one way is better than the other. However, the people behind the study have come to this conclusion by measuring several different parameters that are important for recovery. And according to their tests, one way of these two was significantly better than the other. You can of course object to how the study was done, but you can't say that I'm wrong. I have not concluded anything. What I do is to refer 
to a study that measured how fast runners recovered and tell you what they, the researchers, found. You could possibly say, the researchers of that study are wrong. But then I would like you to present evidence for that other than, well, I think so, or my coach and fast friend said so. And secondly, the only thing the study looked at was which way was better, keeping your hands on your head or on your knees. How you recover if you walk around, as my friend suggested, we don't know. It could be better, it could be worse, or about the same. I'm not saying it's optimal to rest with your hands on your knees. I'm saying that according to that study, it's better to rest with your hands standing still with your hands on your knee than standing still with hands on your head. And thirdly, if you like to have your hands on your head or walk around or walking around with hands on your head, or you think that you recover faster when you lie down and have a bicycle on top of you, Go ahead. I don't care. Everyone can do as they please and you should never underestimate a good placebo effect. So today's take home message is according to measurable facts measured in a laboratory with calibrated equipment, you should choose resting between intervals, standing with your hands on your knees or standing with your hands on your head, which I said several minutes ago, and you have now wasted time on me unnecessarily. See you! I truly hope you liked that video, and if you did, please click the like button and maybe also the subscribe button. And feel free to check out all the other content I have here on my channel. And maybe you are also interested in my online course. You'll find it at fredrickzillen.com.